happened. It's too bad because I I don't really know if it makes a difference. I think they think it makes a difference, yeah. but I think if you have a movie that has an amazing plot and a great like trailer and it looks wild and yeah. like people I think people get sucked into it anyway. Yeah, and and honestly, like one of the best films I've ever seen in my life, which is an action film it's a korean film called the man from nowhere and it's also and fortunately it came out after the gray man did otherwise people would think i'd ripped off the gray man um because it's about a a, a former assassin who's trying to lay low and he ends up having to rescue this girl well the book though came so much earlier than the movie like how many years was it between you writing the book and then the film coming out? i wrote the book in 2007 it came out oh, in 09 wow. and it and the film came out in 22 and so it's like 13 wow. years i was still lucky you know everybody's yeah. like i bet you hate that you had to wait this long and i'm like if, if you know if i was an 85 year old man and they and they made a film out of one of my books i'd, I'd be thrilled so yeah it's a it's a rare thing right sure. so especially a big blockbuster film yeah. with ryan gosling <laughs> you're getting gosling. it <laughs> <laughs> there it is there we go chris evans is great in that too yeah he was terrific yeah he he really p played an awesome version of the character you wrote in the book yeah and that's a, that's an example of a difference in the film that I that I liked, you know, because yes. my Lloyd in in the book is not like a physical presence. He's more of like the asshole master mastermind of the whole thing. Right. And, but I mean, obviously, if they can get Chris Evans in their film, they're going to beef up his role and, and yes. make it a more mono -a mono thing. And, and I thought that was fabulous. Yeah. And, and Chris Evans just really nailed it. Yeah. He, he played the perfect douchebag, yeah. asshole, yeah. cocky, confident psychopath. Yeah. It looked like he was having fun. Yeah. Which is what you like yeah, to see. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was great. You've written a lot of books, man, and yeah. you know, like you're super prolific with these books. It's very impressive. You're basically banging out one. What is it? Like, every like ten or eleven months? Yeah, it, almost two a year, but not quite. So my first book came out in '09, and Burner, my new one, is my twenty third book. So. 20, wow. 23 books in 12 years, something like that. That's incredible. Yeah, it, it, it's, be, it's because they've asked me to do it. And, you know, I have these opportunities. I, it took me 20 years to get published. And so I've been, really? I've been trying to catch up. I didn't get published till I was 42 years old. And so I'm wow. desperately trying to, like, you know, <laughs> make up for lost time, I guess. So what were you writing in all those years when you weren't published? Were you just trying and just... Yeah, I mean... Honestly, I was lazy. Uh, I, I never believed anything could happen from it, but I like to write and I like to think about books and stuff. So I spent 15 years writing my first novel. I started it literally in 1990 and finished it in 05. Wow. And never showed it to anybody. I mean, I've, you know, like three friends probably read it. And I put that aside and I wrote my second book in seven months because it's like, there's something about, yeah, you know, I always say everything in this world is cheapened by my ability to do it. You know, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I always wanted to learn a foreign language and, you know, I, I don't, I'm not super fluent in any foreign languages, but I speak some German and some Spanish. And uh, it's like, once, once I learned to do it, I'm like, oh, it's, it's not that impressive because I can freaking do it, you know? Right. And, and writing a book was the same way for 15 years. It was this big albatross on, you know. On, just hanging on me and I didn't know that I could ever do it and uh, and once I finished it I was like yeah how hard did I really work that was a, <laughs> mostly talking about you know <laughs> writing a book and not actually writing books so then I went out and wrote a book and Gray Man was actually my fourth completed novel it was the first really? one to get published yeah so all those years of 15 years it was you just sort of not being fully committed to writing or Th yes that that's it in a nutshell 15 years for that first book and then i got some momentum like once i finished it and i thought hey you know it's it, well, the internet was invented while i was writing the damn thing so i <laughs> i like looked up like how do you get published because i never even looked at that you know right and then Everything I'd done in the book was wrong as far as like it was too big. There were too many characters. You know, there were just th things they'd recommend against. So I, um, you know, I tried to write something a little bit more mainstream and I got that in front of an agent and he said it wasn't mainstream enough, but I was a good writer. So keep trying. So it was this continually falling on my face, but falling forward, you know, mm. and, and, and there was, yeah, I've had very few epiphanies in my life. I'm not one of those navel gazing people, but, but I had this epiphany one day that like, okay, nothing. You know, I, I was in my th late thirties. I was not successful in my job. Yeah, you know, worked in a cubicle, and I was destined to do that for the rest of my life. And I was frustrated about not going anywhere. And there was just this point where I I said, I like to write. I like to, you know, walk down the street and think about 
you know, some espionage theme or something. And I like to do research and I like to type stuff out and fix it up. And it's like, okay, nothing's going to come of this. But the thing that's going to come of this is you're doing something you enjoy to do. And honestly, that just let a lot of steam out of the kettle. And and suddenly I wasn't like, I'm a 39 year old man who's, you know, has no success. And I just became this guy. It's like, oh, you know, I like writing books and I think each one's getting a little better and maybe something will happen someday. And and really quickly I got, I mean, you know, within a, a couple of years I was, I was published. That's amazing. 